think one of the things that is interesting about Rose Holman is that collaboration and working in teams is incorporated at so many different levels. We're always working, we're always discussing, we're always finishing something together. Bringing together people of different disciplines gives you all of these perspectives. Just being able to say, okay, like this is basically how you're tackling the problem, this is how I thought the problem should be tackled, let's see what's the pros and the cons. I might bring a chemistry question to Akemi because yeah. he might have that better understanding that I wouldn't be able to get. And then when you're working in statics, you have a structures question, go straight to a civil. Exactly. And they're living in the same building, sometimes the same room. <laughs> There was a group of students in the back of the room that clearly had undercut this nerve cord. Mm -hmm. There was no way they were going to get this experiment to work. Well, in that group were not only some biology students, but also some electrical engineering students. And they had figured out a way to short the circuit and get data from a very tiny piece of nervous tissue. We can see a plan, we can see the vision of where things need to go, yeah. create steps to get there and then also solve and like take each step uh, along the way and make sure that they get done on time, if not sooner. Students really latch on to this idea of, you know, like, hey, I want to make sure that my idea actually, you know, comes into the world and helps other people out. We worked on global problems. We found ways to use sawdust to form charcoal to help power small villages. I've been making adapters for brain surgery devices. We had a team build a prosthetic leg for a three-legged German Shepherd. Yep. <laughs> well, right here is the base of an all-terrain wheelchair that a group here has been working on. We decided to uh, improve the bell system. There it is, actually. <laughs> we are working on making a user-controlled hospital bed. I'm 22 years old, and I've already helped develop tools that have saved lives. How many people would say that? <laughs>